God loves men, but he is only bound to his word and principles contain daring. In the name of Jesus, I declare, may you find where it is written concerning you. God is ready to be committed to your affairs when you find it. God is ready to be committed to your affairs when you find the word. If you lack knowledge of the scripture and knowledge of the promises, you are far from entering into the performances of God's word over your life. Somebody say knowledge. 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 In the name of Jesus, obtain grace to fight ignorance. Yes. Knowledge and true understanding are two very important elements that leads us to performance of God's word over our lives and leads us to manifest as God has proposed for us. Ignorance is very, very terrible. Very, very terrible. Ignorance comes at a very high cost. Ignorance comes at a very, very high cost. I pray you will not be ignorant of God's word in the name of Jesus. You must know what is there for you. You must know what is written for you. You must know. If not, you would suffer. Ah, some of us will get angry when we find out that our life would have taken a different turn if we knew certain things. Please write this down. Your ignorance results to waste and unwarranted suffering. I declare in the name of Jesus, everything that you have lost as a result of ignorance is restored in the name of Jesus. God wants you to come to the knowledge of his promises for your life. God wants you to also come to the knowledge of the terms and conditions that if observed would lead you to the performance of the promise. This is where I'm going to. Understanding the terms and condition. So it is not just, it is not enough for you to bear the title Christian. There are terms and conditions. It is not just enough to bear the title an engineer or a doctor. There are terms and conditions, rules of operation that must be adhered to. I mean, no be so. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. No wonder the scripture says in Proverbs 4 verse 7, in all thy getting, get what? Get understanding. We see a story in Leviticus 9 verse 6. Leviticus 9 6. I need us to understand these things because God is speaking to someone. You need to understand the terms and conditions to activate and move to the place of performance. Leviticus 9 6. And Moses said, This is the thing which the Lord commanded thee that ye should do, and the glory of the Lord shall appear unto you. There is a glory that would appear, but there are things that you should do. And if you read through the scriptures, you go down all the way down, all the way down to verse 23. Let's go all the way down to verse 23 and we'll see what happened. And Moses and Aaron went into the tabernacle of the congregation and came out and blessed the people. And this was after they had done all that had been instructed, right? They now came out. What now happened after that? And what? There are terms and conditions. There are many things God has done for us, but lack of understanding of T's and C's keeps us from accessing them. In John 2 verse 5, we see Mary instructing the, the servants people who were serving. She told them, you people should do as he has instructed. His mother said unto the servants, whatsoever he saith unto you, do it. You have to do. 